question. Again, the process capability index is to measure the how well process is capable of producing relative to the design specifications. So we want to know whether CPK is greater than one or less than one or closer to two or you know less than one. So that really indicate you know how capable of the process in terms of you know our you know measured measured process. So look at the problem here. This is about you know quality assurance manager is assessing the capability of their process that put pressurized grease in a, a water can. And uh, as you see the design specification is set 60 pounds per square size pi of pressure. So upper specification is the 65 pi and lower specification limit is the 55 pi. And then we take the sample and found the average sample mean is 61 pi with a standard deviation of 2 pi. So with this information, we are able to find out capability index, CPK. So what is the capability of process? It's asking the CPK, and what is the probability of producing a defect using the G-scores. Okay, first one, you need to interpret the data from the problem. So find out lower specification limit, upper specification limit, and here the sample mean x double bar and the uh, standard deviation, you know, sigma. So we found those information and calculate CPA based on the your formula. So minimum of sample mean minus lower specification limit divided by three sigma or upper specification limit minus sample mean divided by three sigma. So sixty one minus fifty five divided by three times two or 65 minus you know, sample mean 61 divided by 3 times 2. That two value comes out, you take the minimum value, which is 0 0.6060667, which is less than 1. So we roughly guess that this, pro this uh, process capability is not so good, need to be improved. But we don't know how much, what is the percentage of or probability of producing a defect. So using the G-score, first of all, you need to look at the probability of a can with less than 55 pi, which is a lower specification limit, and the probability of can with more than 50, 65 pi. So, you know, left tail and the right tail. So left tail and right tail, we combine these, this is the probability of being defect, producing a defect. There are two ways you can, you know, calculate this process. One is you can use the, you know, this uh, cumulative standard normal distribution. But this is easily can be calculated using the Microsoft Excel function, which is a norm as distribution, DSIT. So I recommend using this, I recommend using this uh, Excel function instead of going through this cumulative standard normal distribution. But let's go back to the question. The, the lower specification limit for G-score is negative 3 based on the formula. So 55 minus 61 divided by 2, so negative 3, which means you can find a negative 3 here. So that that actually the, the grade area here which is a uh, probability is 0.00135, okay? But you can simply, and then probability of a can with more than 65 pi, which is upper side in a white tail. Based on the formula, we G score is a two. So around here, but that, you know, this uh, this graph shows the 0.977, which is this area. But we want to know this uh, ungraded area, because greater than, you know, this area. So it's one minus the graded area. Usually in the upper in the white tail, we have to use the one minus the probability, and left tail we just use the probability.
Um, I'm sorry. So go back. So probability is here, 0 0.0013, and uh, 40C is still less than, probability of less, with less than 55 pi plus, and then more than 65 pi is the 0 0.0225. So when you combine these, we find the 0 0.024, which is approximately 2.4%. That's the probability of producing a defect. So 2.4% is the defective rate. If you use the Excel function, so probability with less than 55 pi is the left tail. You can find normal standard distribution function and use the negative three. The probability is exactly the same using the cumulative standard normal distribution, right? And probability with more than 65 pi, which is a white tail, we have to use the 1 minus norm standard distribution, which is ne uh, positive 2 exactly the same as this, right? So when you combine these two, that's the probability of so 2.4 defective rate. That's the probability, okay? Let's have another problem. So, CPEC, CSPEC incorporation is attempting to determine whether existing machine is capable of milling an engine part that has key specification of 4 plus minus 0 0.003 inches. So you know the design specification limit, upper limit, lower limit is given here. So 4 minus 0 0.003 is the lower specification limit. 4 plus 0 0.003 is the upper specification limit. And then we get a sample. So we found that sample mean is the 4.001 inch. Standard deviation is 0 0.002 inch. So with that, we can find the CPK equals UTR is simply is the same as USL. It's the upper tolerance limit or specification limit is the same. So upper limit is the 4.003 minus sample mean is the 4.001 divided by 3 times standard deviation is 0 0.002 comma and then sample mean 4.0021 minus lower tolerance or specification limit is the 4 minus 0 0.003 so 3.997 divided by 3 times 0 0.002 then these two numbers come out so we take the minimum, which is 0 0.003, which is far less than one capability index. So we can conclude that this machine is not capable of producing the part at the desired quality level. Based on the Six Sigma theory, we simply can uh, conclude that this is not capable of process. Okay. In the next video clip, I will explain control charts. Thank you.